Hi, my name is Alessandro Gangelosi and that's a video tutorial coming from cgcookie.com for MaxCookie. This time I'd like to see how we can use Frost to simulate some fluids uh, in a really simple way because this one will be a tip video, but we'll see how some stuff can be done and set up. Let's imagine that we have a glass mesh with a liquid inside, but actually the liquid is just a mesh, and we have an object falling down inside you see I created this sphere. To do something we can use particle flow so we'll go there, we'll create a particle flow and the fluids will be really really simple let's say that we'll use something like that so this one we can create the particle flow source from zero because that's just a test I done before. Okay. So we don't need actual the speed and the rotation and the shape. We say that the particles stay at the beginning and we have five hundred frames uh, sorry five hundred particles. Then we need to use the position object. The particles will be emitted by the sphere and they will be not visible sorry not visible okay so then we'll use a Krakatoa collision you can use also the standard collision test it's not a problem and we say that they will collide with the liquid then we can use uh, a display node to see the particles. Let's see what happened. We have nothing and we have nothing because we have to see to collide with both phases and remove the animated geometry. And we have also to lock the particles to the meter. Okay, we have it. So uh, then there we can use the dots and we can see that we have a little bit of variation and we have the cows okay so you see we have the particles going away then we need for sure gravity obviously this uh, setup I'm doing is really really simple you can create a more complex setup if you need then let's select the particle flow source and we say that we have the force applied there to the particles the force will be the gravity it is too much let's try 100 maybe 500 okay so we have you see the splash we can have a little bit less force there to have a bigger splash okay it seems not bad. Maybe we can just have there a little bit more cows. Okay, perfect. Then if you need you can have another collision there and I will use again the Krakatoa collision to be faster. The collision with the glass with magnitude zero we we'll have just the removal of the particles and you see that the particles will stay there inside but obviously we'll say that the particles that will collide will be deleted okay so you see that the particles are colliding and they will be removed perfect we have the basic setup now if we use frost in the think box frost and we say to add the particle flow source obviously we have to scale it you see that we have the particles at the beginning and we don't need it so to remove it particle flow events, selected events, edit we don't need 
the first one okay so you see we have the particles just when needed let's go for a shaded version so you see that we have the particles just there uh, you have the possibility to select the best algorithm there we can use if we like to be fast we can use the Zvritsen or if you like to have the best one you have to use the anisotropic and set it but to be fast we'll use this one okay but you see we have the fluids that is not uh, merging with the fluids the liquid inside the object so we can have an add and add the mesh the liquid mesh we have inside and to have it you have to understand that it is using the uh, uh, the um, the vertices so we need a lot of vertices to make it visible let's go in isolation mode okay you see that we have a really low amount of vertices so we have to convert to poly and then we can go for a tessellate we go for quad and remove the tension and we can add let's try with four okay let's remove the edged faces exit from isolation now it is generating the mesh let's go to select frost let's force the windows update and you see that we are starting to see the fluids obviously we need uh, a little bit more quality let's let's try with 0 0.3 0 0.4 let's try to go back and the liquid and set again 4 I made it 3 just to be faster but you see we need more vertices obviously you have to model this one in the way uh, it needed so uh, the mesh the liquid mesh must be a little bit more little and you need more vertices so uh, the the best way is to use the right amount of uh, polygons for example you can have a lot of polygons there and low polygons over there because maybe you like just to see there the fluids how it is uh, moving and colliding let's go in frost and force update okay obviously uh, we need uh, a better resolution there to have the right mesh but I like just to see how it will uh, work when it will collide let's go there to say that we have just geometry and let's go at frame 20 okay and back to to Britson and you see that we have obviously with the uh, the quality needed we have the collision there I mean if we go there and we say uh, create preview create an animated sequence let's go for shaded and let's create it so uh, we have the preview and you see that we have the right simulation obviously uh, the quality is really low but you see that we have the right simulation we are doing so uh, you have just to play with a particle flow to have a better uh, simulation for the dynamic and you need more particles obviously and then you need a mesh with more uh, vertices to have a better frost mesh that are the area where you have to work and then uh, you can use the anisotropic setup 
it was obviously this one was just an introduction to see a way to do something like that and you see that we have for example actually no perturbation there and we can simulate it in more complex way but we'll explore how to do something more complex on uh, really soon when we have uh, more time to prepare a complete tutorial for something like that so for the moment that's all and I hope to see you back on Max Cookie to check for new tutorial coming from cgcookie.com bye